belly to belly, and the man is just eating landmines on the outside of the ring. Jeff Hardy is feeling it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. And it's that time of the month once again, PCW returns with its monthly event, PCW Ready to Die. I heard the comments, I heard the fans, I heard the people. They said that they wanted a different match type in a PCW tournament. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it this month. So this month for PCW Ready to Die, all the matches will be landmine death matches. It is time to see who will become the PCW July champion and face off against Big Bear and John W for the PCW World's Championship. But now the bear has to defend it in a landmine death match. So things are a little bit different this month. PCW has broken another participation record this month. 48 people are participating in this month's tournament, which is a new record. And if you would like to join PCW, all you have to do is click the link down below in the description and you can check it out and see if it's something that you want to do. And if you join, you're automatically entered. All you have to do is become a patron of $10 or more. So it's super simple. Uh, also, people, I would love to hear what your favorite match of the episode is down in the comments below once you finish the episode. And as always, remember, leave that thumbs up to show your support. Now let's go ahead and head in to the first round. Round. Since we're doing landmine death matches for this month's PCW event, there will be no entrances because, if, you know, the, re the, the, the wrestlers are running through that barbed wire board right there. We can't be having all that. So there's no entrances for this one. The game just does not allow it. But we do have this really cool arena. Check out that logo in the center of the ring. Now we have Cody Ibushi representing Insurrection facing off against Trevor Lee representing Johnny C. Cody Ibushi coming off a hot PCW tournament last month as he went all the way to the finals before finally losing. But this one is a little bit different, you see? Because this one is PCW ready to die. This is a landmine deathmatch. There are freaking landmines. You see the outside of that ring right there? There are landmines out there. So if someone wants to land on those, they're getting blown all the way up. I just want people to understand that. This is not just a wrestling match. Oh, a sledgehammer to the back of the neck. This is not just a wrestling match. People are going to feel the pain. Cody, oh, he's kicking. He is saying, Trevor Lee, you're not even in the same league as me right now. Cody Ibushi is running off a high from last month's tournament. This man is looking to take Trevor Lee out with the swiftness. And you can probably expect these matches to be pretty quick. As I cannot, I cannot uh, see the matches going past 10 minutes in this one. I mean, there's weapons. There's landmines. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Trevor Lee going to pick up Cody Ibushi now in the corner. Maybe looking for a German suplex. A drop. Did you see picture perfect style there from Cody Ibushi? As Trevor Lee goes head first into a landmine. His back is on fire right now, brother. And he is bleeding all over the ring. But wait a minute. A Skywalker from Trevor Lee. He says, just bring it. He is bleeding. There is blood everywhere. Super kick from Trevor Lee. Caught Kota Ibushi flush in a 2.9. Kota Ibushi. Come on, yay! Is that going to be enough? 2.9. Trevor Lee. This man is bleeding all over the mat. Kami Goye one more time. And 2.9. Trevor Lee able to answer the call. Super kick. From behind, throws Cody Ibushi face first into the barbed wire board in the corner there as Cody Ibushi is going to take advantage of the situation, catching Trevor Lee off guard. This man is bleeding all over the mat. Look at the blood. It is just everywhere. A pin right here from Trevor Lee. No, it's going to be a kick out from Cody Ibushi. I don't know how much longer this man is going to be able to stay in the match. Off the board, Cody Ibushi is lethal, people. Trevor Lee. A big short brain buster there on Dakota Ibushi now. The forearms. The forearms. The kick. Cody Ibushi picks up Trevor Lee. Big German suplex bridge. That could be all she wrote. And it is! Kota Ibushi will be moving on to the next round with Insurrection. Trevor Lee, we're going to have to get some medical attention for this man because he is bleeding everywhere. This man has his blood all over PCW's arena. And in match number two, we have a debuting Shawn Michaels. We'll see if he can take down Seth Rollins, but Seth Rollins brought out the White Ranger gear, so we're going to have a little bit of an issue here for Shawn. But look, Shawn even brought out the old school attire. My man's got the gloves on and everything. He's truly wilding out. Seth Rollins representing the Skizzard. Shawn Michaels is representing Dylan T. 
We'll see if Sean can make a good debut here in PCW because participation in PCW all comes down to what the fans think, comes down to how you performed in the tournament. I mean, there's a lot of factors here. I mean, we have money to spend, but we don't have money to spend on busters. So Sean's going to have to switch it up just a little bit. We'll see if he can beat up Seth Rollins, who is an absolute veteran in this biz, brother. Seth back to his... Oh, oh, did you see that? Seth Rollins showing a little prowess with the hands. A back driver there sends Sean's head into the mat. A DDT will put Sean back into the mix here. Seth Rollins just beating Sean down right here near this barbed wire board. We have a ton of weapons. There's a light tube even over there in the ring right now. Seth going underneath on Sean. A big knee will drop Sean Michaels flush into a swinging neck breaker. Sean back to his feet. A DDT will drop Seth Rollins. They're really close to these ropes, people. A backbreaker there from Sean puts down Seth Rollins. Oh, what is this? Pedigree! Sean's friend Triple H says to gotcha. The pedigree will only get a two count on the heartbreak kid as we have a back and forth as Seth Rollins will take down Shawn Michaels. But Sean with a suplex onto this kendo stick. It's just sitting right there for you, Sethy Poo. If you want to grab it, it's yours. Seth Rollins now picking up Sean, but Sean's going to try to fire back with a backbreaker, a punch. Try to get something started here. Seth is down on his feet, but he was playing possum now into a swinging neck breaker. Seth driving Sean into the mat one more time, and now we have a reset here in PCW. Gooch Destroyer from Sean Michaels. Off the ropes goes Big Daddy Sean with a clothesline, putting his whole body into it. A DDT onto that kendo stick is gonna hurt there. Six minutes in, Shawn Michaels, power driver onto Seth Rollins. But Seth is gonna answer back with a big power bomb. And now we have, what is this? A little small package? It's not gonna get the three count. We have a reset. The crowd is into this match. Sweet chin music out of nowhere from Shawn Michaels. And just a two count, Seth Rollins able to get out. A drop kick there, nothing will answer. A big knee from Seth Rollins. Super kick. This man said I can do a sweet chin music too, brother. Drop kick would drop Shawn Michaels flush, but Shawn will answer the call and get back to his feet. Into the barbed wire board goes Shawn Michaels. Nobody is busted open just yet, but Shawn is looking to change that with a flurry of punches. Seth is out flush. Shawn now, but wait. Seth is going to end up putting him on the mat. Picking up Shawn center of the ring. DDT from Shawn Michaels as both men go down. A punch from Shawn Michaels, and now he's got the bat! Shawn Michaels with the bat to the back of the head! He said, I am staying in PCW! A swinging neck breaker from Seth Rollins now as Shawn fires back with a big lariat. What is this? Pedigree from Seth freaking Rollins! In a 2.9, Shawn Michaels able to get out as Sean fires with a punch, Seth fires with a punch, back and forth punches from both men so equally matched. A back body drop will send Sean to the floor. Seth hits him with a big lariat. Seth may be looking for that rip cord knee. Falcon's arrow will put Shawn Michaels down, and he gets it! Seth Rollins escapes by the chips of his hair. And Seth Rollins and the Skizzard will be moving on to the next round in PCW, ready to die. And now we have another debuting superstar here in PCW, Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah, Bonesaw is ready. He will be facing off against Tanahashi. Tanahashi is representing Mick Mickey 7 Randy Savage representing Connor R. It didn't work out for Shawn Michaels as Seth Rollins in the White Ranger attire will be moving on to the next round. But we'll see if Randy Savage can change that up just a little bit and move on in his debut match in PCW. 
in the corner now. Both men kind of looking each other down now. Randy Savage with a big neck breaker. Those are the types of moves that you're going to be seeing from Randy Savage. You're going to be seeing suplexes, neck breakers, things of that caliber. A sling blade from Tanahashi. Both men sort of crippled, I guess, is a good way to put it. As Randy Savage cannot use his elbow, but Tanahashi can't use the high fly flow. And Randy Savage feeling the heat of the landmines on the outside. He said, I can't use the high fly flow. That's fine. You will feel the landmines. Randy Savage busted wide open, but a forearm there will drop Tanahashi. He said, I'm busted open, but I'm ready to go. Into the corner goes Tanahashi. Is Tanahashi bleeding now? I see some blood there in the corner I didn't see before. It doesn't look like it. It looks like Tanahashi is still clean on that end. But Randy Savage is feeling the pain here. A dragon corkscrew there will knock him down flush in the corner. They're going at it. Randy Savage and Tanahashi throwing fists. Who will come out on top? Randy Savage does it. Oh, wait a minute. Big back body drive. I thought maybe uh, Randy Savage was going to send him to the outside, but Tanahashi will hold on. Shining Wizard in the corner near that barbed wire board. Front flip senton. Randy Savage has got something in mind. A big pile driver. Old school style as Randy Savage gets down. 2.9. A tie up in the corner. Shining Wizard from Tanahashi. He wants that leg. He knows if he can't go for that high fly flow, he's got that Texas clover leaf. Randy Savage now throwing Tanahashi towards the center. The punches. Look at this. The combination flurry from Randy Savage now. Step up in Zagiri. Both men are down in the middle of the ring. But a hit to the gonads from a bleeding Randy Savage. Big swinging neck breaker there from Tanahashi. What is this? A gut wrench suplex from Randy Savage. Is he learning as he's going? The flurry of punches from Randy Savage will put down Tanahashi. A big swinging neck breaker. Once again, a flipping senton from Tanahashi. Big Michinoku driver just drives Randy Savage straight into the mat. Drop kick. Both men are down in the corner. The blood is all over the mat. And Tanahashi wants to end this matchup. He's going for a pin. And it's a 2.9. Randy Savage picks him up. Big swinging neck breaker. Classic Savage now off the ropes, but Tanahashi will answer and just hit him flush into the mat. He dropped the leg on Randy Savage. A big drop kick picture perfect as Savage now into the corner. Tanahashi looking to gain this momentum and end this match. Brain buster from Tanahashi. Both men are down. The crowd's getting into it. Randy Savage going for the nuts shooter. He has Tanahashi center of the ring. A big forearm drop. Some flush off the ropes. Goes Randy Savage. Wait a minute. Shining Wizard. Tanahashi goes for the pin. Randy Savage is bleeding everywhere. I don't know how this man is still in this matchup. Big body slam sends Tanahashi to the floor, eating his first landmine of the match. Big swinging neck breaker there from Randy Savage. Now Tanahashi bleeding, Randy Savage bleeding. Brain Buster to the floor! And Randy Savage just ate another landmine. Goodness gracious, wait a minute, is he gonna do it again? Another Brain Buster, dude, I don't even know what's going on no more! How is Randy Savage still in this matchup, people? A back driver on Tanahashi. Oh my goodness, the back and forth action. This match has been nothing short of incredible. Randy Savage with a big lariat, but Tanahashi with an Enzigiri. Both men are down. Tanahashi answers first with another step up Enzigiri. The forearms from Randy Savage as he picks up Tanahashi. Big suplex and now both men are down again. Throwing Randy Savage center of the ring. Blood is everywhere, people. Blood is everywhere. Randy Savage is starting the momentum gain here on Tanahashi. Big brain buster will send them down and we are down again, people. Oh, a big 
big sling blade. Drives Randy Savage into the mat. A front flip. Centon, neither man are going down. DDT. Ooh, that was almost bad for a second. It looked like I don't know what was going to happen. Pow driver from Randy Savage. He's calling for the end of this matchup. He wants this over with. But Tanahashi has other things in mind. Texas Cloverleaf on Randy Savage. And that is all she wrote. Hiroshi Tanahashi is taking Mick Mickey 07 to the next round. This man, Kurt Angle, is starting with the straps down. That's how you know this is serious business. This man went Super Saiyan before the match even started, so you already know this man's coming into this with the mentality to win. We have Jeff Hardy representing Vincent E. Kurt Angle representing Battleman 5595. We will see which one will come out the winner here. If I were a betting man, I'm just saying Jeff Harvey is quite the daredevil. But I've seen Kurt Angle come through some crazier stuff, but I don't know how that man's gonna recover from a landmine. He has already busted wide open. I told you, Jeff Hardy has been in some absolutely extreme matches, but I've seen Kurt Angle jump off. Of, I, dude, I've seen Kurt Angle do some crazy stuff. I mean, you gotta look back even on his match with Shane McMahon, huh? Eh? Shane McMahon, huh? Eh? His match with Shane McMahon, huh? Eh? Kurt Angle off the rope skis. Oh, nice little Hurricane Rana there from Jeff Harvey as he goes in for the Nuts Chewlers. Oh, he's got the headlock. This man is taking a little bit out of Minoru Suzuki's page. Kurt Angle now off the ropes, but they're gonna run into each other. Big back, back there from Kurt Angle. <laughs> Jeff Hardy picks up Curdy Kurt. Trying to get a good shot, but this backboard here with the barbed wire on it, just in the way of the shot. The back and forth here between Angle and Hardy is just going on and on. They know each other too well. Hardy having to use his reserves to take out Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle finally giving up there. Kurt was going for a shoot there, but oh, it looked like Jeff Hardy might have run into one of the light tubes in the ring. Oh, we got Kurt Angle trying to shoot on Jeff Hardy, but Jeff Hardy's gonna roll through. Belly of belly of the man is just eating landmines on the outside of the ring. Jeff Hardy is feeling it, as Shulk would say. Enzigiri there on Kurt Angle. Both men busted wide open. I really do not know how these men are going to compete all the way through this tournament in landmine death matches, but they're doing it. German suplex there. Kurt Angle picks up Jeff Hardy now as Jeff Hardy rolls him through. Angle from behind on Jeff, a roll through there from Jeff Hardy. He wants that three, he wants to get out of this match as soon as possible. Kurt Angle is just bleeding everywhere right now. Oh, Jeff Hardy off the barbed wire board. Kurt Angle wants the end of this match right now. Oh, belly to belly! I thought I was gonna send him to the outside. That would have been super rough. Single leg Boston Crab, no rope breaks here, Kurt. You know what the deal is. You've been around the block before, buddy. Forearm there from Kurt, back elbow. Jeff Hardy wants the end of this match. He's feeling it. Kurt Angle said, you can take that over my dead body. Angle lock on Jeff Hardy. Is that gonna be enough to put him away? No! Jeff Hardy with a front flip senton coming out of that ankle lock. You gotta wonder how that's feeling right now. Jeff with a big kick there. Drops Kurt Angle in the corner, but Kurt's looking for that give up one more time. He is not going to get it now as they are fighting, and Jeff Hardy was just sent into the landmines. Ref James might have to step in and stop this matchup because it's looking pretty damn brutal right now. These guys are bleeding all over the mat. Roll through there from Jeff Hardy. Is that going to be enough? And Jeff Hardy steals it over Kurt Angle. Jeff Hardy and Vincent E. will be moving on in PCW ready to die. Both these men busted wide open. We're going to get some staples for everybody in this one because this is rough. We have another PCW debut here in the first round. We have Roderick Strong making his debut. Will he be able to take down Daniel Bryan? That's sort of a large task, but we'll see if he can get it done. We got Daniel Bryan representing Hyper Wolf. We have Roderick Strong representing Fisha. Daniel Bryan not playing around. 
I think Roger might already be bleeding. Can somebody check? It looks like he is bleeding already. That is not a good sign for the PCW hopeful. We'll see. Oh, Daniel Bryan just eating that glass right there. That's going to bust him open, too. We got blood a minute 40 into this matchup. But wait a minute. The S lock here on Roderick Strong. That's not going to end him just yet. As Daniel Bryan is looking to get down on this man and give him that good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Roderick into the corner now with that barbed wire board is going to be taking a little more pain to them cuts. Able to catch the kicks from Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan said, I don't care what you catch, buddy. Daniel Bryan going to kick out at just one now. Into the corner goes Roderick Strong. Dragon Corkscrew one more time there for Daniel Bryan. We'll flush him out before they get to the center of the ring. Little small package action. Roderick's shoulders were down, but it's just a one count. Roderick's going to kick his knees out from underneath him. Oh, here it goes. The back and forth. And Roderick Strong will end up using most of his chakra as he gets Daniel Bryan up with a big enzigiri. He drops some flush. Both men are down. Both men are bleeding, and it is bad, people. Oh, wow. Did he do that with his arm? What a smart move from Daniel Bryan as he's looking to get a give up, but he's not going to get it. Fireman's carry from Roderick Strong will drop Daniel Bryan. As Daniel Bryan said, eat this. Buzzsaw kick yeah, drops yeah, him into yeah. a... Uh-oh. When those yes chants comes out, that is not a good sign for Roger. But a big backbreaker from the Messiah of the Backbreakers. A kick will send Roderick into the corner. Daniel Bryan trying to capitalize on that momentum. But another backbreaker there from Roderick Strong. He's looking to get into tip-top form here. A big sick kick will drop Daniel Bryan. And it's just a two-count. I don't know how Daniel got out of that, but that buzzsaw kick will drop Roderick Strong. Two point. No, oh, that was looking bad for a minute. Another backbreaker there from Roderick. He picks up Daniel Bryan off the ropes and a big bukkake knee from Daniel Bryan. He was too hurt to capitalize, though, but this buzzsaw kick might be enough. Will Daniel Bryan go for the pin? No, he's going to go for the stamina instead. Smart decision from Daniel Bryan, but that's going to lead to a fireman's carry. And oh, no! Is he going to tap? No, he is good. It was about to be real bad real quick. Roderick doesn't do a lot, but he drops that Boston crap. Oh, wait a minute. Roderick Strong locked in here. No, it's not going to be it. Roger Strong's calling for the end of this match. He wants it. He wants it. He punt. Oh, he just dropped like a sack of hot rocks. In the court. Wait a minute. What's Daniel Bryan doing here? We got an airplane spin. We got an airplane spin. Discombobulated Roderick Strong. It don't matter. It don't matter. This man does not care. The crowd is waking up. Daniel Bryan's putting him in. Daniel Bryan with the yes lock will take down Roderick Strong and move on with Hyper Wolf to the next round in PCW. Ready to die. Hit the trumpets because John Cena is here in PCW. And I don't know if this is exactly the tournament John Cena wanted to come in on. But it's the one that he's in, so he's going to have to figure it out anyways. Gory special from Brian Cage early on. This man's looking to take out John Cena with a swiftness. We have Brian Cage representing Outen M. John Cena representing Mr. Weston. And we'll see who can come out on top here. John Cena is not going to go down quietly. I'm going to tell you that much, Brian. You're going to have to figure something out here. All right, because John Cena is a bad, bad man. Dragon Brian Cage, center of the ring. John has got the green and the jorts. I mean, look at this. Look at this stalling suplex from Brian Cage. John said, eating a mat. This man's head was about to get knocked straight off. Uh-oh. You made the big man bleed. Nobody makes Brian Cage bleed his own blood. Oh, my God. John Cena, F5 onto the light tubes. That is rough. But John's playing the long con here. I can respect it. Throwing Brian Cage into the uh, barbed wire board and then onto the landmine. Brian is looking a little more hurt than John! 
Brian Discus Lariat from Brian Cage. But John Cena, I told you, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue here. Gut wrench suplex from John Cena sends Brian Cage over to the other side of the ring. Brian now from behind off the ropes, goes for a forearm. John able to duck, but oh wait, it looked like he was maybe setting up for a power bomb. John Cena had other plans. Oh, here we go, Gory Special. One more time for John. Hit the trumpet, Cena. Wait a minute, John gonna fire back with a back driver. Brian Cage feeling the mat there with his noggin. John Cena, attitude adjustment! One, two, and that is all she wrote! Big Bear! John Cena said, just bring it, bitch! John Cena is taking Mr. Weston to round number two in PCW Ready to Die. Well, John Cena was able to get a victory in his first ever PCW tournament. And we have Scott Hall making his PCW debut also. We'll see if he can keep the train going and defeat AJ Styles. AJ Styles is representing Raymond Yu, Scott Hall representing James G. And we have the landmines loaded up and ready to go. People are going to get hurt here this evening. Scott Hall with a reverse suplex there on AJ trying to go for the pin. But I feel like it's going to take a little bit more than that to take down the phenomenal one, Scott. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Scott Hall sends him to the outside. He said, hey, I got something for you, buddy. AJ Styles now bleeding. Oh, did you see that? He kind of rolled in on the bat. I don't think he saw the bat there. AJ was looking to suplex Scott Hall all the way to the floor, but that's not happening anytime soon. Oh, it looked like maybe that DDT was going to send Scotty Scott to the floor, but that's not happening here this evening. AJ going to drag Scott to the center of the ring, which is exactly where he wants it. He wants to keep it a wrestling match because you get into a fight with Scott Hall. Oh, it ain't going to be looking too good. Back and forth here. AJ Styles, Scott Hall, oh, they are firing. Scott Hall using the last of his chakra there to drop AJ Styles. Both men are down. Scott Hall now trying to keep that momentum riding. Get this W, but a tilt-to-world backbreaker from AJ Styles who goes off the ropes with a big lariat now. AJ looking in tip-top shape. Into the corner goes Scott Hall. Backbreaker from AJ Styles who picks Scotty up, hits him with a drop kick. Away from the ropes is where Scott Hall wants to be. Center of the ring. Also not a good position to be honest with you. There's not a lot of good positions here for Scott Hall. AJ Styles with a gut buster. AJ's such a damn versatile wrestler. Big drop kick from AJ Styles will drop him. We have both men out right now as the crowd's starting to heat up for this match. Scott with a vintage fall away slam onto AJ Styles. Always oh, Scotty busted open. Super kick. Scott Hall's down. It is a 2.9. He's able to kick out. Wait a minute. Oh, boy, maybe he was going for a razor's edge, setting up for it, but AJ's able to roll through just a two. The crowd is really starting to appreciate this match. You hear him getting up off their feet. Backbreaker from AJ Styles will stop whatever momentum Scott Hall thought he had, but Scott is going to go for the shoulder of AJ Styles. A big lariat drops him. Off the ropes. AJ going to knock down Scott. Scott has got to get back into this match. There we go. Causing a reset here about seven minutes into this matchup. Falling face first onto this chair. Big drop kick will drop Scott Hall as both men are down and the crowd is coming alive. AJ picks up Scott. Big suplex will send him down. Scott able to answer first though. But AJ was just playing possum. Good trick from AJ. As Scott tries to fire back, but into the corner he goes, eating up on that barbed wire board. AJ Styles, another suplex onto the chair. Wait a minute. Oh, he went for a choke slam, but did you see the reversal from AJ Styles? Able to get out of it at the very last second. The punches from Scott, and he said, Sock it. This man is wild. AJ Styles with a big styles clash and it's just a two count scott hall said not today essay oh 
my god, what a lariat! Scotty with a suplex. If you think Scott Hall is out of this match just yet, think again. AJ with a big drop kick dropping Scotty, but Scott will answer back. Big fall away slam, not to the outside, so AJ staying safe on that part. Wait a minute, AJ with another gut buster. I thought maybe he was going to go for an attitude adjustment or something of the sort. Uh-oh, that's not looking good there. Another fall away slam from Scott Hall. The punch is all oh, here it goes, people. The back and forth. 11 minutes in. Big spinning back fist from AJ with a super kick. Scott with the punches to the head. AJ Styles is starting to really feel it. I can't believe both of these men are still going in this matchup. They are bleeding. Oh, the lariat. This man said, sock it. Roll through from AJ Styles. Is that going to be enough on Scott Hall? It is. AJ Styles is taking Raymond Yu to the next round. Sneaking one over on Scott Hall. Scott Hall put up one hell of a fight, but AJ Styles, a veteran in PCW, getting that W. And now for the final match of this part of round number <laughs> Holy moly. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin representing Jonathan I versus Asuka representing Galvanizer. And Asuka is not playing around. Did you see Homegirl just break out that spinning back fist? And then she kind of, I think Steve kind of set himself up for that when he landed right on that broken wooden table piece right there. But my man is all about this Boston crab. Asuka ain't trying to hear it. Whoa, suplex from Asuka sends down the bald headed bastard himself. An arm bar takedown there from Asuka. Steve Austin not gonna give up just yet, but coming into contact with that steel chair, not looking good. Steve off the ropes, going for a clothesline. Asuka moves out of the way, but a combination flurry of punches from Steve Austin will drop Asuka off the ropes with a speedy knee. Do you see the speed off of that? Asuka now elbow drops Steve Austin. Goes for a pinaroo, lands on that piece of board, and now the Boston Crab one more time from Steve Austin. He wants this give up. The back and forth now. Punches from Asuka and Steve. Steve going to drop after expending his chakra usage. Oh, the kicks are coming in from Asuka. This is not good for Steve. I don't really know what you were trying to accomplish there, but I hope whatever it was, you did it. Asuka with a punch on Steve, trying to get this momentum moving into a victory. Trying to use her butt cheeks on Steve, but Steve said, be gone. The punches, but Asuka said, get off me. Picking up Steve Austin, now center of the ring. Asuka with a snap suplex, sending big bald Steve down. A kick to the midsection. Now he's got the full mount on Asuka, just blowing away. Asuka going to go for the pin on Steve right on top of that board, but not today. Steve, I got no idea what you're trying to do here, but it ain't going to work. Asuka with a kick to the head on Steve Austin. And it's just a one count. The buzzsaw kick, not enough. That's another snap suplex in Steve Austin to the ground. Steve is not looking good in this match right now. He has got to do something off the rope. Spinning back fist sends Steve to the ground. Asuka again, Steve. Oh my goodness, Steve. You were quite lewd. Goes for a pin on Asuka, just a two count. Crowd starting to come alive here as the kicks from Asuka will take down Steve Austin. Asuka is trying to prove everyone wrong. She is the underdog in this match, and she is doing quite that as she continues the beatdown on Steve. Onto that broken board, the Fujiwara armbar here. It's not enough as Steve Austin's got the Boston Crab locked in. Asuka say, get off of me. Steve, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Off the ropes. Oh, the jump drop kick from Asuka as we have a little bit of a reset here. Off the ropes, Asuka with a big drop kick drops Steve Austin right where she wants him onto that board. Off the ropes, Asuka. Ooh, I don't know what was going on there, but either way, Steve comes out with a kick to the midsection. And now a back driver on Asuka, sends her to the floor. Asuka said, I don't care about no damn back driver, boy. 
Off the ropes, Asuka with a big penalty kick. And now Steve going right into the steel chair. The crowd loves it. Asuka picks up Steve, but Steve with a face wash, doing anything he possibly can to win this matchup. Steve back to his feet first as Asuka now is reeling, trying to find a way back into this buzzsaw kick from Oscar. Off the ropes goes both competitors. A drop kick will drop Steve, but Asuka falling onto that broken wood. Another armbar takedown here from Asuka. Steve is locked in cold, but no, he is not going to give up. The crowd coming alive now as Asuka goes from behind and drops Steve with a back driver. Steve with a face wash trying to get himself back into this matchup. And he's telling the crowd to go die. Uh-oh. I thought we were going to see a... Oh, we do the back and forth. The kicks from Asuka. The punches from Steve. Steve. Asuka. Big kick to the noggin. Drops Steve Austin. Asuka going to regain her stamina. Smart move there from Asuka. Instead of going for the pin, I don't think that was going to be enough to drop Steve Austin. And now Asuka with the kicks. Drop some flush. Steve going to get back up with a face wash. He is still trying his hardest to stay in this match. A big drop kick drop Steve. Neither competitors are busted open yet, which is honestly an anomaly. 12 minutes in, you thought you would see it already. A roll through there from Asuka trying to pick up the victory. No, just a two count. Steve able to answer. Uh-oh, the punches. Oh, the barbed wire board. Asuka is going to eat it. Another arm bar from Asuka. Is that enough? No, it is not enough just yet. Wait a minute, Steve. Pow driver on Asuka. And a spinning kick. Asuka just knocked his damn bald head off. Steve throwing Asuka. Big spine buster. Steve now dragging Asuka to the center of the ring. Does he want that Stone Cold Stunner? He's going to eat the board, and Stone Cold is busted open, and Asuka is going after the bleeding. She wants the cut. The big spinning back kick. Asuka. Ah, Steve with the middle fingers. He's bleeding, but he don't care. Steve is bleeding, but he don't care. Asuka's bleeding. Steve is brolic. Things are breaking down. Stone Cold Stunner. And it's just a two. Asuka answered the call. I can't believe my eyes. A German suplex. It is 2.9. Steve Austin's able to answer the call. It's a reset. 16 minutes. The crowd is on their feet. A kick from Steve off the ropes. Oh, she tried to use the butt cheeks again. But Steve Austin is immune. Steve Austin does not care about the butt cheeks. Stone Cold Stunner! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! And it's a three Stone Cold. Steve Austin and Jonathan I are moving on to the next round in PCW ready to die. All right, everyone, and that was part one of round number one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy it. We had some crazy matches and ending strong with Steve Austin versus Asuka. Remember to tell me down in the comments what your favorite match of the video was. Leave a thumbs up to show your support, and we will finish off round number one in the next video. See you.